All right, guys, happy Wednesday. Uh, I owe you uh, this video and maybe one or two more um, from what I've promised before. Um, but I finally got um, all of the cards representative of the player I'm going to be talking about today. And that is Key Brian Hayes, uh, third baseman on the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's currently down with an injury right now to his wrist. It does not seem serious. Um, he swung uh, and fouled the pitch off and awkwardly hurt his wrist. MRI showed only inflammation, but nothing structural. So uh, do expect him to come back sometime soon. He is actually due back from the IL today, uh, but the Pirates have said that he will uh, be on the IL for a little bit longer just to be safe. Um, anyway, I kind of identified Key Brian Hayes as kind of a guy who I, I think is a great candidate to uh, buy and sell in the short term, um, depending on when you kind of get into his cards. So I'll, I'll just kind of go through. I made a few posts on, on Facebook and on the blowout forums about stuff that I was looking for, and I'll just kind of show what I got. So this is probably my most exciting card of his. This is a gold refractor of his first Bowman Chrome, number to 50. This is a sick card. Um... I also have his first Bowman Auto, which is a great card, too. I think of the cards that I have, um, I'm, I'm considering signing these to Beckett. I'm not quite sure yet what I'll, what I'll do. I also have a refractor. Um, but the interesting thing about Cabrian Hayes, in terms of his hobby, is that he doesn't have a flagship base yet. He just has a ton of silver packs. Um... So this one's actually numbered to 75, this purple. Um, but all of these silver packs uh, are the only thing that came out in Flagship. Um, these I've been picking up for about 40 bucks a piece. Um, and until Series 2 comes out, this is kind of it. Uh, you know, he has Heritage... And, you know, he'll have Inception and stuff like that. Maybe, like, Top's Finest. Um, oh, I also got uh, one of these, like, his in not his action variation. This is his in-action insert. This is the French text. So, definitely a cool card. Um, and then I, I found this in a box that I ripped a while ago. This is just his Heritage Miners base. Um, so, that's kind of, like, what I have. But a little bit more about him... Um, you know, he's 24, so he's not gonna come on the scene and rip it up like Soto, Tatis Acuna, and that kind of younger generation. He does have more time in the minors, and he, what he did was he improved his hitting. Um, his, for, you know, for a while, uh, the, par the Pirates really believed in his fielding ability, but he really improved his hitting, and that was proven um, by his uh, hard hit percentage last year. His barrel percentage uh, was among the highest in baseball in the time that he played. Um, and so, to me, if you're hitting the ball hard, then you are hard out. Uh, and the m more likelihood that you'll be hitting extra base hits, hitting home runs, driving in runs, getting on base. Um, and, I, you know... I just think he has a lot of upside uh, and probably a lot uh, m more so than people are going to give him credit for. Um, so, I mean, listen, he's on the Pirates. Uh, as far as a prospect goes, he's a little older, but I do think that there is strong potential uh, to buy. And if you are looking to make a profit on this player, uh, he is the favorite, still a favorite to win the Rookie of the Year for the National League. I do think that there is opportunity to make money on Key Brian Hayes. Um, so that's kind of where my strategy is. I just thought to share a little insight. I don't always do this, um, but I feel like you know I have you know a position with Key Brian Hayes, and um, you know I want to share knowledge where I can. So. That's kind of where we are. Um, certainly interested in your opinions of Key Brian Hayes. I do think uh, of 
the um, other rookies in 2021 Series 1, he's definitely, um, you know, I think if he had a base card in 2021 Series 1, he'd be the, um, like, the rookie to chase. I think Topps was smart keeping him out of Series 1 so they can drive prices of Series 2. Uh, it does not look like, um, you know, at least of the recording of this video, like other prospects will make their way into series one in, into series two, but we never know. Um, they still have time. So we'll see, uh, certain looking forward to getting him or seeing him back on the field soon and seeing what he can do This dude's a talented player. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of key Brian Hayes and, uh, and the cards that I have and, uh, look forward to discussion. Thanks. Bye.